Hey everyone, this is Lee Sing speaking. Welcome to my new episode. <laughs> it's been a long time I didn't upload a new video. So yeah, today I got a message from one of my followers. So he wanted me to talk about value. And uh, I think value is really important. Uh, if you are a student, you may heard about a lot of, uh, you know, suggest uh, from your friend or teacher that told you that your value have problem and all value is very important. But you have no idea uh, about value and you don't know how to improve your value skill, right? So in this video, I'm going to try to explain you what I think about value and uh, how to practice value. Also, um, when you're doing some value study, what is the most important things? All right, so uh, uh, let's start. So first of all, I'm going to share two images. So basically, if you are a student, especially if you, uh, you are uh, you're learning in some art school, you know, you will see something like, like this very often. This is in the very early stage when you become a student, need to doing some art practice, right? You need to do a lot of like uh, still life painting. And I think maybe a lot of teachers, they didn't explain you why you need doing this uh, practice, why you need to doing a lot of still life uh, um, painting or drawing. Um, so first, uh, the most important things is still life painting. The first thing is about value if you're doing drawing. Um, the second thing is about uh, uh, building the distance. This is very important, uh, I know, for my opinion, uh, because you know, you see so many different uh, fluids or object in one image, and uh, you know sometimes the composition is uh, good, sometimes is not good. But uh, you know, for this kind of practice, you also can doing some like. Uh, um, composition practice, but I think that is not very important. The most important is depth and uh, value. So you see so many different things in one image, right? And uh, you should uh, control all everything. If you are doing some drawing, you will use like a five uh, value system, right? To finish your artwork. So if you see so many different uh, color in one image, what you need to do so you see, let me show you something. You see, if I turn the photo to black, you will see different value. So the first things, what is most important things is you should have a general idea about uh, basic value. Because you know, maybe you heard a lot of about a ba uh, local color, right? So uh, I think this basic value is like the local value. So for each object like banana, apple, orange, people, they all have their own basic value. They, uh, they all have the, the, like, uh, you know, the, the different level of gray, right? So maybe this uh, red paper is like a dark gray. This plate is, you know, um, light gray, maybe 20%. If I use, uh, if I use HSB, this S, you know, maybe the uh, here, maybe the plate is, will be like 80% uh, uh, gray, and the paper maybe will be like 40% uh, gray, and the yellow paper can be 60. So you see, this is the way to define each object have different uh, gray level. So the most important thing is first, uh, you should define each object in your artwork the local gray is in which level. This is very important because if you don't have this skill, you will, you know, you maybe, you know, you make the plate like very dark. You make this uh, paper, yellow paper, more dark than this uh, red paper. So your value is wrong, right? So you see, this is the first thing, right? I, I, I want you, every, everyone, if you watch this video, this is the most important uh, information from me. Remember, check all, uh, check each object, the local value, the level of gray, right? So 
take a look at this background is white. So it's maybe like 80% or 90% gray, right? It won't be like white because the pure white is light, is lighting, is light source. So um, maybe 90% or 80% for the background. So maybe, you know, if we take a look at this black and white, you see this banana orange can be maybe similar in the same level of gray, maybe like a 50, you know, or this apple, maybe like 40 or 60, light a little, you know. And if you check this uh, reference, you will see the plate and the tablecloth may be pretty similar because they are all white, right? But you, you can't use like the pure white, like 100%, this is light, right? So maybe it's 95%, right? So, and uh, you take a look at this uh, flute. I don't know how, what is this, right? But it's really dark. This is really dark. Compared with uh, other object, you will see this is the most darker stuff in these uh, photos, right? So, so when you drawing, you you can like uh, pick this as a reference. So, the most dark area maybe is from here. Right, other stuff you can't like uh, drawing it very dark. Or you know you pick this uh, uh, tablecloth as a reference. So maybe this is like ninety percent of gray, right? Ninety five or ninety is okay. Then you think about this knife. This part maybe by wood, but the gray level will be like maybe um, seventy or sixty. You know. You compare with this, then maybe jump to this uh, red paper can be like a 40, then jump to these fruits can be 11, you know, uh, 11 or 10, right? So everything is compare. It's about uh, you compare. You have one, then you compare with each other. So you will find the right uh, value, the local value for each object. So second things. The second one, I wanted to talk about uh, another things. It's about, you know, you, maybe, you know, you already see so many stuff like this, draw or painting a bowl, then explain you like five system, right? And you, you may uh, don't understand, uh, you know, sometimes you get confused, like always like a highlight, light areas, middle tone, dark, dark area, shadow, right? Core shadow, task shadow. So, so many, stuff get together so sometimes you get confused so for me sometimes it's pretty easy you just need to know first the middle tone second dark level and the light level that's like a different level of gray so make the lighter uh, level lighter little <laughs> make the darker level darker little but don't go to like a to 100 white, this is light, and don't go to too dark, like black, because in our real life, we can't find real pure black. The only thing you want to see a pure black is you lock you in a room, close all light, and you can't see anything, that is pure black. If you have a little light, that means pure black is not exist, right? So use these five value system. So also you can see, uh, if you compare with uh, here, you can find uh, maybe the fabric, the, uh, the tablecloth can be this level, right? Maybe the um, yellow paper can be light level, this level, gray level. Uh, check this, uh, um, Red, red people, right? Let me take a look at this red, right? Yeah, this red people can be like a mid-tone level. And uh, these uh, uh, fruits can be similar. These two can be similar like a dark level. And uh, the most dark area is in some gap, like, uh, you know, here, this area, uh, this area, or this area, or this area. is some areas that the light can't come inside, right? So this is like the basic, like a five, five value you can use. So sometimes when you're drawing or painting, remember, don't put so many 
different level of gray, right? This gray can be color, you know, right? So if you put so many different color or gray, you will lost control. It's very hard to control your artwork. So the second thing is about uh, five value system, right? This five value system, I know you maybe heard a lot of about, uh, you know, uh, use a ball, then tell you, oh, this is like highlight. This is light area. This is like a cold shadow. This is a uh, shadow, you know, this is like a um, refraction light, maybe have some cast shadow, right? Um, so uh, I need to put a cast shadow over there. Let me put it here. Okay, doesn't matter. I think I miss to painting the cast shadow, so I need a. Okay, so this is like the cast shadow, right? So you see, you have so many different uh, like uh, stuff, and uh, you 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 know, different area, different definitions. So sometimes you get confused, right? So in the right here, this is my five value system. I use this, I, it's helped me to very easy to remember what is the five value system. Because first, um, first is about highlight. So every stuff, Every artwork, every object, sometimes you will need to know to always have a highlight. Second, mid-tone. Mid-tone is, you know, is also very important. So you have including, for me, including a lot of different level of gray. And uh, the third thing is cold shadow and reflection light and cast shadow. So this is the five value system for me. Uh, and uh, let me show you what is, what. Let me show you an example. So what I want to do is the first, I will try to, um, sorry, I need to find the brush. I got so many brush, sometimes I get confused and I can't find my, the right brush, okay, this one. So first, I will try to find the middle tone. So the mid-tone actually is something like a local gray. Okay, local gray, <laughs> a local color. Oh, so this is your mid-tone. Second, find the core shadow. Maybe the core shadow, of course, this depends on the light source. If the light is from uh, here or the left or right, right? Uh, if the light is come from the uh, top of the left, right? So the cold shadow will be dark. Maybe it's here, right? The cold shadow, right? So right now we have uh, mid-tone and uh, cold shadow. So the second thing, I will try to find the reflection light. Reflection light maybe it's from the background, so give some like a reflection light, right? Then, you know, you can put the, um, you can put the, Cast shadow. So then you can put the highlight. So you see, I have like a five value system highlight, mid tone, co shadow, refraction light and the cast shadow, right? So this is a very basic idea about this five value system. And uh, um, it's kind of, it can, it can be help you to building the, you know, the, the realistic style, especially you, sometimes you feel your artwork is like a flat, say it's like a graphical stuff. So, uh, the, the problem maybe you, you missing some like a mid-tone or cold shadow or cast shadow or refraction light, you know, some, I think a highlight, everybody will have it <laughs> because the, for people uh, who want to be artists, they always want to put the highlight first. <laughs> uh, but for my opinion, put the highlight in the last moment. Don't, don't, don't put it in the very 
beginning. Uh, don't put it so quickly. So you see, this is what I want to share. And uh, when you use this theory to approach your artwork, uh, you always need to be careful because you see, because I, I miss I miss a lot of like a great level. This will need you to have very strong skill to control the transition. Because you see, I from the um, mid tone. This is my mid tone. If you, if it's a ball, right? My mid tone. So if I just put a highlight, this is not good because it looks very strange. So you don't have good transition. So what you need to do is when you finish your artwork, have all these five value system stuff, then you need to be careful and be patient to deal with the transition. Like, you know, like from the high light to the mid tone, right? Or from the mid tone to the core shadow, right? You see? So then, you know, you will have very good result about your artwork. Right? So you can also dark your uh, core shadow. And also remember the reflection light, it can't, it can't be lighter than the highlight. Sometimes I see some artwork like they put the reflection light like this. Oh my God, you see, which is the highlight? This can be the highlight, right? So remember, don't make your reflection light too strong. And uh, sometimes the most uh, dark area can be your cast shadow, especially close to the edge. I mean, uh, this area, because here is a gap, you know, this area is a gap. So have some gap you will need to, you know, they don't have any light that can go inside. So maybe here you can use like a 100% like a pure black. It's okay sometimes, right? But don't use it uh, here, or here, or here, because all these areas they have re reflection light from everywhere. If you have light, maybe here I have a wall, so the light coming from here, the light coming from here, right? So this is uh, what I wanted to share. Also, you know, sometimes <laughs> if you want to check your artwork you should, uh, you know, I share two things, right? One is the local gray, uh, local gray level for each object. Second is about a five value system, right? So you see, when you have a very good local gray level, be sure don't make it too dark. Sometimes you said, oh, I need to make this uh, like a five value system. So you dark this like a uh, uh, cold shadow very strong, right? The theory is correct, but the result is wrong, right? You see, you put uh, the cold shadow here. Yeah, you're right, but it's wrong. So this is also sometimes your value have some problem and you don't know how to improve this, right? So sometimes be sure when you're doing your practice, deal with this five value system carefully. Uh, and uh, always check, you see, these people have this cold shadow, but it's not very easy to see it, right? But uh, this is a wrong, this is the, like a cold shadow area. This is the highlight, right? This is the cast shadow, right? Maybe have some reflection light here. So others, you know, it depends the different um, material, sometimes it's metal, sometimes it's like um, some glass, you know, so you will need to learn something about how to, you know, practice different materials. And also, you see this banana, this banana, because the material is not like very smooth. So you can see you, you can't find some like a very strong uh, cold shadow, right? And the transition from the light to the dark area, it looks pretty similar. So you will be, you will need to very carefully to, to, to join this. And also sometimes, you know, uh, some stuff, they don't have like a reflection light, 
it depends the material or texture of this object. So you, it's it's all about the different situations. So when you deal with your artwork, you need to check about this, and you need to always think about: Do I need to put a highlight there? Do I need to use this like a five value system, strong the core shadow, or does this stuff really have a reflection light? Always ask about this. Sometimes you know if you like overreaction, you said, okay, here I have very strong um, light, right? So maybe here I have very strong reflection light. So you see, if you put a lot of like reflection light here, it looks strange, right? It's wrong, wrong value, right? So, all right, always, you know, be sure to check this, uh, everything about your local gray level, each object for each object, right? Uh, be sure you will, when you start your artwork, the, each object have their local grid value level. <laughs> okay. Um, um, if this is six percent, this is like forty uh, percent. This is like thirty percent. This is like eighty uh, percent. Right? You have a general idea about this. Second, use this five value system to finish this. Finish your artwork. Right, easy. All right, uh, please, you know, just, you know, uh, if you have any question, if you still confused about this, you can uh, left a comment and let me know what you, what's your um, question. And um, um, I'm trying to think, I'm, I'm thinking like, I'm, I maybe I will try to do a, like a art critique, uh, something like, uh, you know, you send me the, your artwork, Mm, I will collect uh, like a uh, five artwork from different uh, artists. Then I will do a video, talk about your issue, and uh, you know, make some uh, adjustment, right? <laughs> so um, if you will be interesting about this, maybe you can also um, leave your message, or leave your comments here. Um, if I decided to do this, I think I will post the information on my Instagram. Um, then you just need to, you know, follow the Instagram and uh, maybe send the, your artwork to my mail. Then let's see. <laughs> All right. So you see, I it's really, you know, been a long time. I didn't talk about uh, art. <laughs> I didn't record any video. So maybe, you know, I don't know my English get improved or not. I hope you can understand this video and I hope uh, this video can give you some like uh, new stuff some like a trick or something that you think useful. All right, uh, have a good weekend and see you next uh, episode. Bye bye.